Hayataro? What a little hater bitch. Welcome to Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I am your host, Yoki Ataro, publisher of Muscle Sport Magazine. I'm trying to go being crazy meant something. Nowadays, everybody's crazy. Would you eat your wife if you crashed an airplane and you survived and she died? Ugats. I guess if I did eat her, I'd eat a pussy for real thoughts sake. I'm going to tell her that when I go home. <laughs> Google <laughs> Claws, you have the greatest questions in the world. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? You know what I would do if my wife's body was there? I would finally fuck her in the ass! And you can't stop me now! You dick! How you doing? My name's John Sikoris, and this is Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Sandy baby, hey, how's it going? Sandy baby, how's 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 Italy treating you? How are these Italians treating you? Alex to the D and the Josh in the house. What's up, fellas, ladies, gentlemen? Show Doodle, Show Doodles in the house. What's up, Show Doodle? I love that picture of my lord. Oh, another fake email. Account to learn Amazon. Johnny Juice. Team Guilty to Schneider. Schneider all the way from Norway. Norway. He's a, he's a trad Viking. How's Cindy doing? How's your cousin doing? Your cousin. Welcome, welcome on a Friday. Freaky Friday. Hey, Joe, just got back from Arizona. How was it? Arizona's beautiful, right, bro? I love Arizona. Did you go see Big Rob? Chaos Rob, not Fitness Rob. <laughs> A real person, not some fucking caricature of fucking cuntiness. She is one of the teams you're good. Good for her. Have her put those beautiful eyes on her. She has gorgeous eyes. Hey, Joe, I'm up in Belgium now. Oh, really? You got transferred. They moved your unit. Belgium's beautiful too, probably. Belgium! Belgium, Harris! Belgium! ABF! I have about 25 ambassadors now. Very good. There you go. See? You take one at a time. Right, ABF? ABF, are you an MSM ambassador? <laughs> oh, I'm always Mr. Whistle. How's that, doodle? <laughs> LFC MMA. Is that Mikey? What's up, Mikey? Or is that Sean? What's up, Sean? Whoever it is. Hello. <laughs> we love the LFC. Our girl, Michelle. Michelle from uh, Word of Mouth. is got two scheduled fights in the lingerie fucking fighting champ. She's a fucking piece of fucking gorgeous ass. I can just wait to see her in lingerie. I want a wardrobe malfunction. I'm going to fucking, like, like the way Nancy Pelosi was starting to rip the papers. Because she's too fucking old to rip fucking a piece of paper. I'm going to do that to Michelle's bra and like snip it a little. So when she gets into the clench with one of these girls, one of those big fucking beautiful tits fall out. Welcome everybody. Ask me anything MSM style brought to you by the one and only Titan Medical Center. What's up, Joe? How's your day today? Pretty good. I jerked off this morning. Having a good day today? Yes, I'm sure the mold ambassador. <laughs> you are the fucking greatest man. <laughs> Joe Whistle makes my cobra rise. MSM 13, don't fuck with the familiar. 
of my cobra out of that wicker basket. Like those old fucking movies with the fucking dot heads in them. That's when you can make fun of dot heads. They fucking... <laughs> when we were cops, we were yelling at this fucking guy. And we were like, get the fuck out of here. He was like some Indian guy. Like, get the fuck out of here. Go, go get your fucking flute and your fucking cobra and basket, you asshole. Nutella! Well, he wasn't a Nutella. He was... I guess he was a... You know, he was a dot head. Scroll my shit. I don't want to scroll your shit. It's dirty. Hey, man, I'm going to have an, have you in the background busy with some shit. Have a great show, and please tell us so I don't seem like an asshole. Like, no. Who going to cause? No one would ever call you an asshole. We love who going to cause. Cock piss partridge. <laughs> you man a titty. <laughs> you man a titty. <laughs> Hey, Joe, how are you? Hey, Mark, how you been? There's another UK guy. I was thinking of some of who my UK guys. Mark's one of them. How do we become MSM Legion members? You are! <laughs> Is it okay if we get fat as fuck? Yes, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if you rep MSM from the coffin. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. <laughs> Yo, let me rep Sandy, please rep MSM. You first you have to send me a naked photograph if I see if you have what it takes. I have a feeling you'll pass with flying colors. <laughs> Mikey Fulper is live, is he? I thought his phone don't work, that fucking lion sack, a fucking burger licking fucking bastard that he is. Oh, Sandy, I'm in love with you, Sandy. I love the no-makeup Sandy better than the makeup Sandy. That's how fucking naturally pretty you are. You're going to leave that guy for me. <laughs> Joe, if I post nothing but talented as SSU BBW, please say, yes, exactly. Uh, yes, please. You, you can be my SSU BBW ambassador. <laughs> like the way Woody Johnson is Trump's ambassador of the UK. <laughs> what the fuck is that? But Ariana's biggest fan is my ass, and Jared's gonna get jealous. Sandy should be on the cover when she steps on stage. Oh hell yes! Let me rap when I do my next show. Yes, please, please rap bikini and all. Yes, please high cut. I like I like those high cut briefs like. The <laughs> I just approved the proof of the next issue with the fucking pornographic female bodybuilding cubbies. Oh my god, it's great. You guys are going to jerk off and you're going to thank me. It was nice. Next month I'm in Hawaii, then April. I'll be. Why are you all this traveling, Alec? Is it work related or is it fucking vacation related? Are you going solo or is Mrs. Alec going with you? Jared is going to block me again if I get that job, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, he's got to stop blocking people. No blocking allowed. No cock blocking. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, fuck. So fucking Alex all over the U.S. Fucking Sandy's all over fucking Europe. And I'm sitting here in rainy Long Island jerking off to the same fucking websites. Can anybody give me some good fucking websites? What's up, Nick? How you doing, pal? Wow, Alec, fucking enjoy Hawaii. You gotta go see Mikey in theater if you're in, I don't, I don't mean, like Hawaii is like a block long, but you know what I mean. I always wanted to go there. North Carolina. No, actually, South Carolina, but North Carolina is really nice too. I've never been to Hawaii either. I'd like to go to Hawaii and enjoy the weather. It looks beautiful. I'd like to eat fucking pineapples and coconuts. Nick, are you still celebrating the Super Bowl? Win? Oh, that's right. He's a Chiefs fan. Fuck the NFL. Fucking savages. Did you guys see my fucking Peter Pandering fucking Roger Goodell? Fucking. <laughs> I really wrote a fucking article yesterday that if there was any fucking chance that the NFL have a fucking credential in me again, I sunk it. Getting drunk with the hubs. It's great. You'll get, you're with your husband now and I just told you to leave him for me. That's great. <laughs> He's probably like 6'2", fucking 260 ripped with a 12-inch cock. Please tell me he's white. <laughs> Nikki D. South has been... That's a, yes, the chance of states and Vince Hoodlum. <laughs> Actually, I think he is... Um, uh, I think he is in North Carolina. Your husband is a Negro? Are you serious? You can't be in the MSM Legion. <laughs> I want to go, Nick. I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to get a girl on live. No offense, but I really, really want to get women on live. 
I mean, Nick, I had you on live twice. We basically, it's like, it's almost like vegetable soup. We covered the same thing. No, he's not. Okay, good. You're back in. Sandy, can you go live with your husband? I want to see what he looks like. And I want to fucking tell him, I have your woman, baby. <laughs> no, I'm not really kidding. He's a soldier. He'll shoot me. I won't even get my gun out. I'll have three bullets in my fucking temple. <laughs> he's 6'2 and huge. Definitely not black. Oh, good. Is he, uh... I don't even know what you are. Are you, uh, what is your background? Are you uh, Irish, Italian? Are you uh, German? Are you, I don't know what you are. You're gorgeous. I know that. Nick, go live with my buddy Mike Fulp, but you'll be an amazing one. <laughs> Nick, I, I, I really want to get girls on here. I'm sorry. It's, it's been a sausage fest of live. We had Kean on for like 10 seconds and we got cut off. I was crying. Sandy's buddy Kean. You're Swedish. Oh my God, that's a lot. A blonde Swiss. So I know the cuffs match the collars. But you probably shave. You gotta remember last I was saying, natural blondes, let that pussy hair grow, baby. We like that. <laughs> Nick, if you had a natural blonde, wouldn't you want her to have vagina hair? <laughs> Joe, did you watch the NBA trade line? Would you start dribbling the band? <laughs> And they just not I thought it was an interesting trade deadline. There were some names that actually moved. I thought the Knicks did good. They signed him to fucking flip him for a one, and they got it. I don't care if it's the last fucking pick in the first round. It's, it's good. We need more white babies. Yes, yes. We need more Republican babies. Yes, let's go live, Sandy. Please, let's go live. Nick scares all the babies away. <laughs> I'm with a girl right now. Does that count? Um, well, let's get Sandy on. No offense. And then we'll get you on. Joe, am I going to watch the XFL? Yes. Unfortunately, the first game is 2 o'clock Saturday. And it's my mommy's birthday. And I'm going to be with her and my and my whole family uh, at the nursing home visiting dad. And then we're taking her out to dinner. So I'm going to miss the first day. Cleveland picking up Drummond. Very, like, what it, I'm not sure what they want to do with him. Like, Cleveland? I don't know. It was very odd. Sandy. Does that stand for peanut butter? <laughs> Gosh, I want to spread all over her in liquor. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, see, I, that's the natural beauty you got. What's up, Joe? Natural beauty. Let me say hi to your husband. I saw her. There you go. Oh, there we Dude, go. I'm, I'm jealous and, and I'm, I'm mad respect to you. She's a of beautiful her? woman. Yes. Yeah, you can have her. Oh, you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, <my> <laughs> You're giving her away. Man. So you're in the uh, military as well, right, bro? Yep. Congratulations Army. and uh, bad respect. What, uh, what's your name? Brian. Brian? Yep. Oh, so you're an Looking Irish dude. You're Irish, dude? No, well, yeah, we'll go with that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Brian's usually an Irish name. But that's cool, though. You guys went to Belgium now. So you've been, uh, are you guys always moving together, or have you guys been split up while you're in the military? So we've been split up the majority of the time. But this is our first time together, actually. So. Oh, very cool. Good. Mm -hmm. are, are you into the uh, the bodybuilding competition stuff like Sandy is? I try to be, but <laughs> tacos, no. pizza, oh, fuck, man. It's, it's hard. Fuck that, man. Have it. fun. Don't worry about that shit. <laughs> yeah. No, no. We're, we're, we're having a good time. So. Good, good. All Belgium. the way from fuck. Belgium, that's great. She, your, your wife is really cool. And do you know Kian also, her buddy Kian in the Air Force? No, not yet. He will though. He did. I'm trying okay. to get her yeah. out here to do a show, but. Oh, so what time is it in Belgium? It's like 8 p.m. Nine, fucking yeah, nine. Yeah, nine, nine fifteen. Yeah. Nine fifteen. Wow, it's three fifteen here in the in the in the states, as they call it. Over there. The lower 50. The lower 50. Yes, no, lower I'm just kidding. <laughs> what state are you from when you're back home? Where do you live? Uh, me, Florida. Florida? Is that lifelong? Yep. Oh, okay. What part? Oviedo. Sounds fake. Ah, all right. Florida's cool. I like Florida. I've been yeah, there. it's, by, it's by the UCF. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, you know, it's nice there. Obviously, the weather is very accommodating for the, uh, you yes. know. Stuff like that. So that's really cool. So what else is going on with you guys up in Belgium there? Drinking. Oh, look. Holy Toledo. Look at that. Fucking heavy duty. Oh, shit. That's all we fucking know. Over here. <laughs> I don't blame you. You know what? Good for you. You're in the fucking military. You should have a drink on your fucking yeah, time, man. Yeah, drink every day is normal. So 
<laughs> you're young. It, it, you, you lose the weight. It, it goes away. Yeah, sure. I'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, be nice. He's writing nasty things. Joshua, something. He he he's enamored with Sandy. He's all oh, she's got. Jesus Christ. She's pretty. Oh, see, see, I'm I okay. Think that. I, I'm thinking that, but I'm, I'm respectable enough to not say it, especially with your husband right there. That would be not it's nice. True. It's true. <laughs> yeah, we all have fucking guns <laughs> to jump at airplanes and kill people. <laughs> so you're going to rep MSM in your next show? That's right. I'm going to try to do right. one in the summer. You're going to be back here in the summer? Um, Perhaps. I'm trying to get right. Ian to do one. You're trying to get Kian to do one? Mm-hmm. That would be cool if you guys did one together. Yeah. Well, he just reached for the fucking... He just reached for the potion. <laughs> Is that Jim yeah, Beam? for the summer. All right. <laughs> oh, right out of the fucking tap. Holy... Ugh, I couldn't do that. I'm a, I'm a lightweight. No shame. No need. No need, my friend. Nope. That's Where's Korea you? for you. Korea will do that to you. Korea? Oh, a year in Korea. It's just nothing but drinking. Oh, wow. Korea. That's got to be, uh, it's got to be fucking, is it fun though? Is it nice there, like in South Korea? Per personally, I loved Korea. I think it was a great time, but it was definitely a party fucking, it was a party year. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The king yeah, that would be, uh, how is the food? They have American food or is it mm. all eating all fucking, no. Korean, Korean food. I would go back to Korea solely on the food. Amazing. Really? Amazing. I guess I'm always like wondering, like if you go on vacation to these, like, oh, you can go to fucking, uh, you know, Vietnam on vacation. I don't want to fucking eat fucking worms for dinner, you know, so I'm afraid I'm not going to eat. <laughs> I don't know if they eat fucking worms in Vietnam. I mean, they, so Vietnam I don't know, they're, they're nice pretty place. fucked up. Bro. They're like cavemen over there still. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you can't say it. I can't. It's okay. <laughs> I, can't say, I can't say it on live air. So. <laughs> no, no. So what's the, is the tension pretty deep in, in uh, Korea because of the DMZ and shit? I was there, fuck, what year is it now? Two, is it 2020 now? Fuck. I first got there about four years ago and even then it wasn't i've been at the dmz twice i mean it's a great it's a great time to be it's got to be cool though right it's got to be pretty it's wild a, yeah it's a cool experience i mean if you're a historian person like me okay cool good time. excellent good time. and let me ask you as military personnel do you uh are you uh, uh trump supporters do you like I what can't say done with the military yeah i mean yes but not officially but yes so yes okay I, so I'm I'm not big on politics. I went to college for political science. But uh, what is it, conservative? I guess. Are you conservative? You're conservative, man. But you're probably independent conservative. Oh, not a guy. Dude. Look Maybe. at that. You got a whole fucking party going on. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got a whole it's party a going on. Fucking party over here. Oh my god! How many people are all over there with those bottles open? Oh, just three. Oh, yeah, three's all you need. Bottles. <laughs> <and purple. laughs> Well, so uh, because you know what, I like to ask people either active or retired military personnel what they feel about the president and as far as the medical coverage goes, like with the VA, like retired guys and shit like that. So oh, I, I, mean, I, don't I think know. the VA is fucking garbage as is, but I mean I'm I'm full supporter, you know, of yeah. who he is, and I think he's done a lot for the military. Okay, um, good. But I mean, being I don't know, I'm not. I'm not picking, choosing sides and stuff here and there, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I got nothing to complain yeah. about. So. Well, he's gonna win again, so you're gonna, you're gonna have him for. Oh yeah, of course he's gonna he's win gonna, again. He's gonna pound whatever fucking piece of shit the Democrats put up. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm, cool. I'm definitely not Democratic. I'll say that. But. No, please do not be. Please, we must no, keep, keep the fucking faith. So. <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. Guys, enjoy your party. And we will. Thanks for having us, Joe. I'm glad I got to meet hubby, Brian. Yeah, of course. And, uh, I will talk to you soon, and I would be honored if you would rep MSM. Yes, for, oh, sure. for sure. Yeah, send, send some stuff. Thank you so much, sweetie. Be good. Enjoy the rest of your night. Yeah, bye, Joe. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> oh, there, <laughs> there we go. There's something in there. <laughs> oh, there he is. Look, there's the guy. <laughs> Have a good time, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye brother.
Worldwide MSM, Belgium. Look at that. Sandy with a husband, Brian, seems like a nice guy. He looks big. Imagine if he fucking beat me up because I said <laughs> I want to. Now, Johnny Bravo, I, you said that you wanted to come on and tell me something. I am, I am, I am uh, uh, awaiting with bated breath. Hopefully it's not, it's not fucking bacala breath. <laughs> Johnny, let me hear. Come on, come on down. Nick, I'm sorry. I, I want to get you on, but I got to. Johnny, when Johnny tells me he's got a, a hot tip. Sandy has to move to Canada. <laughs> uh, Johnny Bravo TV. I haven't seen or spoken to Johnny. Johnny's been, people have been MIA, Johnny Yo. Bravo. Oh, he's got the hair back. All right. Oh, well, I got the long hair back. But can you hear me? Go, I hear you fine. So what's up, dude? Dude, first of all, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. Thank you. How about you? Good. I miss you, Joe. I haven't been around in so long. I feel like I'm missing an action, you know? I know. The, the piss troopers miss you as well. Listen, out of nowhere, okay, the gym calls me up, my local gym, right? Okay. They're like, you know, there's this guy calling up, and he's like, oh, hold on. Tell me if, tell if I'm back. Am I back? Yes. I lost you for a second, but oh. you're back. Yeah, if, if the phone goes again, I'll just decline and I'll come back. Because you're, okay. you're going to die when you hear this shit. <laughs> so the gym calls me, they're like, John, you know, I saw you filming a video here the other day, but you didn't get any members in the video. But listen, who did you piss off in the gym? Because they know me, I clown around, right? And I'm like, I didn't, I didn't piss off nobody. What are you talking about? He's like, piss off nobody. What are you talking about? He's like, no, John, come on. Who did you fuck with? A Chicago guy. I'm like, a Chicago guy? I'm like, Chicago. why? What the fuck is going on, right? So he's like, there's this motherfucker calling the gym four times this week, talking to the GM, talking to everybody, right? And I'm like, what does his voice sound like? Did he sound like a Detroit accent? Did he have like a weird way of uh, using the A syllable? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, do me a favor. Go on your phone, look this up. Look up Big Rob Fitness, right? So he goes, looks up Big Rob Fitness. It turns out it's him. And he tells me he's calling up, yelling at him, saying, you better kick this motherfucker out of your gym. He's going to cause all this trouble. He's going to expose all you guys. He exposed Kali Muscle. And he starts going on tangents, saying all this crazy shit, saying, you better kick him out of the gym, otherwise I'm not going to come anymore. But he calls from an anonymous number, right? Okay. So, anyway, so the guy told me, and they're my, all my friends over there. They all know me. You know what I mean? I'm not doing any mean stuff over there. They know me as a person. So, anyway, long story short, I have the fucking three, record, three calls of his recorded. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put it out in like fucking half hour. You're gonna piss in your pants. He goes nuts, like worse than what he did on me. Is Today. it really him though? Yeah, yeah, it's him. Yeah, it's not somebody imitating him. No, 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 it's him. You can tell. And it's he's, him. Say, he, he's saying shit like he fucked my wife on camera. The guy at the gym's like, wait, he fucked your wife and recorded it, and then he starts going nuts and starts going crazy. Oh my god. Now, he's calling, make him believe he's a member of your gym. So yeah, he say, just saying that I was, time on you. yeah, saying that I was recording in the gym, filming, and his family and him were in the background to kick me out of the gym. So you know what that shows me, though, Joe? When, when you hear the phone call, you're going to know. It shows that, remember when everyone was worried because they were getting calls at their employee, the place where they work and all that stuff, and they didn't know who was doing it, and people were getting fired? Yes. It shows you what he's capable of, the piece of shit. Yeah, everybody always thought the big Lenny thing was fucking him. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, now it's proof that the motherfucker calls on place. And how he found my gym out of anywhere, I don't know, because I don't market it anywhere. I don't put the place. You don't post place. from it or anything? Uh, no, nothing. And so now he's saying, like, no, is he saying it as somebody who's supposed to be there? Because I'm still confused. Like, how, is he trying to portray himself? He's member, yeah, he's pretending he's a member of the gym. Okay, all right. And he right. won't say his name. He's like, I'm not giving you my name. It's just anonymous. And he calls from, he blocks his number when he calls. Okay, so he's, he's just fucking stirring. But, but you haven't spoken to him in what, a year? But when they called me, Joe, I told them who it was, and so now they know who it is. So when he called back, they said, hey, Big Rob, how you doing? And they had that on tape? I have everything. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I can just imagine how the video is going to look when you post Dude, it. Dude, he's like, I'm going to sue you guys. Oh, oh, my God. Now, what is his... But now you and him have not... Like, he's been completely not, out no. of the fucking realm. 
Joe, I have not spoke to him, said his name, nothing in all this time. Nothing. I know he's subscribed to my prank channel because I could see who subscribed and it popped up saying Big Rob is. One time he left a comment saying sorry and all this bunch of shit, then he deleted it. And that was it. I've never spoken to him. Yeah, yeah. Like, I haven't. He, he the whole thing with last year with the Arnold and all of that, like, he yeah. never showed up. Yeah. And so he just looked like a fucking idiot calling me out and then not being there. Yeah. And then a couple of months ago, he started following my Instagram. Yeah. Like he unblocked me and started following me. I didn't follow him back. I just ignored it. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, like, a month later, he blocked me again and unfollowed me. <laughs> Remember what he did to you? I can't. I guess I <laughs> you better run. <laughs> what he fucking did to you, Joe? You remember what he did to you? Oh, I don't forget anything, John. <laughs> you know what's funny though? I miss those. I kind of miss those days because everyone needs a sick fuck like that in their life. It was insane. It was yeah. so much fun. Oh yeah, yeah. This one's funny. The shit he says about his wife and the guy thinks he, I actually fucked her. Oh my god. He's in when this comes out now, it's gonna be part two with this sick fuck. You watch now, he's gonna go insane. I was about to say he's gonna have to answer it somehow, so I think it would the fucking whole thing is gonna just come to a head again. Yeah, Joe, they're call he said that he's called like at least like eight times, nine times this week. And saying the same fucking nonsense. Yeah, and he called the gym Gold's gym, because in my video where it shows a snippet of me working out, I wrote Gold's gym. I didn't write the real gym's name because I don't want anyone fucking bothering me there, you know? Yeah. So he still figured it out. So he must have called that sick fuck, sat at home and called every gym in Scottsdale. Until he fucking got somebody that... that, that so he, so he obviously gave my name and they looked it up and they found it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they could have just been like, I don't, you know, I'm, we're not going to tell you who, who worked, if he works out here or exactly. not. Exactly. And he said, he's, he, dude, the shit that he said, oh my, there's so much, there's so much, like, I've never heard him go this crazy. And you're putting it up in a half hour, you said. It's like 15 minutes. It's uploading right now. Yeah. Oh, so I'll have a fucking present when I'm done with this Oh, yeah. Show. Go I'll have a fucking drink and, and sit down and listen, and you'll have a good time. Oh, boy. Here we go I'm again. Part right two. Yeah, I'm working right now. I technically get my ass fucking in trouble right now. But I had to come on. I had to tell you because... I right, thank you so much. So basically, I'm breaking the story. You're, you're yeah. breaking video obviously it's yours but i'm breaking yeah. the story <laughs> Big love. Of the six plus, maybe I'm back in town <laughs> what what job i get big rob fitness may be back in town i guess he figured the prank videos weren't fucking catching on yeah he needs attention it's what it is he needs attention he was telling the guy on the phone he's like well if you guys make if i make videos i'm going to start making videos about it he goes i have four hundred thousand. no no he says he has 4 million subscribers. No, 400,000 subscribers on YouTube and his videos go up to 200,000. And the guy goes, you have 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. What are you talking about? He goes, I'm friends with fucking, oh, this, this is new now. He says, I'm, some, I'm friends with Samir Banu, Chris Cormier, uh, Big Ramy. They all know me. I'm a celebrity. He's talking like Jason Genova now. Oh, my God. What a fucking retard, bro. Sick fuck. The sick motherfucker. Oh, I can't wait to see this. It's going to be great. The fallout shall be interesting as well. Yeah. All right, Joe. I love you. Listen, I missed you. I got to go back I to work. I love you too, bro. And I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link video. Yes, please do. I can't All wait right. to see it. All right, bye, guys. Speak to you later. Bye-bye. Right, There's Johnny Bravo. I saw Monica saying she loved his eyes. He's a good-looking guy. Right, Monica? I got nice eyes too. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Leaf Girls MSM and Kim Finesse Haynes tonight, 8 o'clock. The Fit Chicks chat, baby. Hey, there's Keith Liz. What's up, Keith? 44. Who? Obama? <laughs> Who the absolute fuck has that much extra time? <laughs> Talking like Genova. Those are fighting words. <laughs> Where is he going to post the video? Um, I guess on his Johnny Bravo. Uh, he's got, I think it's Johnny Bravo TV. And then he has another one, Johnny Bravo Vlogcast or something. Hey, Regina, what's up, Toots? You said you were going to come live today. I want to see. I want to see how you look. Yes, tonight on Kim Kim's Instagram. Uh, Kim underscore fit underscore 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 underscore. Hey, Cindy, what's up, Toots? How are you? I wish I can kiss you back. I want to kiss those eyes of yours. They're beautiful. The lipstick ring. <laughs> yes, he took the lipstick ring to another level. Actual sex, not just blowjobs. Chanel Piana just advertised her OnlyFans 5%. Oh, come on, guys. Stop. Come on. That's not nice. Angel Dolphins from the 70s. 
Ah, oh, you want Falpa. Falpa is a fucking, uh, I got to get more of his videos. I got his, I got the Superman and Batman one. Mike, you got to do more. Von Haynes tonight. <laughs> yes, Von Haynes. Yes, tonight is going to be a uh, uh, Leaf Girl Stuff is our new sex and relationship column. Kimo Tag. Oh, that's a new name. Did you change your name from something else, or are you a new a new viewer? I'll give you a big smooch next time I see you. I'm gonna stick my tongue out. <laughs> Great Philly outfield. Go live with Leaf Girl. She's looking banging in a nightgown. You got a nightgown on now? <laughs> it's Kim Hainsening. <laughs> Mikey, 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 what's up? Regina, let's see what you look like, baby. Come on here and shake that booty. <laughs> Dan, what's up, Dan? Now, what does that say? NAFTA? <laughs> Bill Clinton. <laughs> Fabian, what's up? How you doing there? Yeah, we're having a good time here today. Johnny Bravo, uh, breaking the news. Monica, there she is, my, my Canadian firefighter. Key and Auerbach, you missed Sandy, was on live with her husband and some other guy. It, it was it was a fucking party. They were drinking like animals in Belgium. <laughs> That's not a nightgown. Crazy Hawkey could still go. I hope he does anymore because Jared is legion. He said himself the other night, it's a 50-50. King Robbie has a so Oh, show us some talent, Regina. Yes, please. We love talent on this program. The gang is in town. Craswell, what's up? I wasn't joking. Chanel posted on her Instagram just now. A 5% discount. Drink like animals in Mexico. Yes, Monica just returned from a nice long trip in Mexico where her flight got canceled and she had to stay an extra couple of days. That must have been great. You know she was fucking wearing fucking the panties more than once. Because I had that happen to me one time. I got stuck in, uh, uh, I forget what it was, some Caribbean. And I'm like, I don't even have any more clean underwear. I had to fucking, and then had, I had to like fucking shake some clothes off and wear them. Cum stains all over them. Alec, they gave me his phone. Whoa, baby, just a little treats coming out of every corner. Yes, we have treats, we have goddesses, we have girls. So wait till you see the new cover. Wait till you see the cover. Smell the glovers here, laddies. Chanel has an OnlyFans now. She really is, and I'm serious. I mean, obviously you see her in videos and photos. She's beautiful in person. She is better looking in person. She is so fucking hot. I saw her in LA again. That's a load of shit that Moto should have access. Just saw Big Rob and John Cena drive to Arizona. <laughs> real girls? Yes, real girls. We think I have a fucking blow up doll. Only fans mean nudity eight or ten times. I definitely will jerk off to her, without a doubt. Joe, when am I going to be on the cover? Ooh, I don't know. We have to talk about that. You're going to have to get rid of those two big fucking soldiers that are behind you. <laughs> when do I make the cover? Sploosh. <laughs> I got an idea. How about all of you go naked in a bed together and start doing each other? And I promise you a cover. <laughs> ABF, that's the other question. We're all... The question. It's like, Brad was like a thug back in the day. So I'm like, uh, fuck. Just don't get arrested, shithead, because your ass is going to sit in jail for a night and learn your fucking lesson. How old is the other baby? Um, he'll be six in May, so he's five oh, right now. Right. So, you, so you, yeah, so you, so you're just saying you want them to stay babies. Now he's three, he's starting to get bigger. He's not a baby; he's like a toddler or whatever. Yeah, they're like they're starting to like they're yeah. starting to get older, you know, and like they're becoming more like they can really hold conversations and just it's really great interact. though, right? Isn't it's, it cool though? Yeah, it's cool. It's like where did my tiny little babies go? But now they're like. Uh, it's fun though. It's still fun though. Yeah, I'm. T it, I'm telling everybody tells you the same thing. I'm sure, but it does. It's true. It goes by fast. Mine are 23 and 18. Oh my gosh! Feels like yesterday. Imagine. They were like your kids' ages. They're four years apart. So you know, you have three years apart. So we're in similar uh, similar circumstances. But you know, yeah. you went from you know having tea parties with my daughter, drinking the water with her, and the little crackers and all that cute stuff. <laughs> to now, I'm over there telling her how to you know okay this. Do this for your medical insurance through your job, and it's just—it's like a totally different, you know. It's, yeah. It's just, you adapt with it, but they're still your kids. You still got to do things with them and for them. Right. So, that's so cool, man. Though that you, your dad's there to celebrate the baby's birthday and all oh, that. So you gotta—you have a good weekend. How do you then? Who was that? R.I.P. Matt Porter. 
in loving memory of Matt Porter. Oh, okay. Because it's backwards. I wore it so today. I'm, to man, I, what did you think of Matt Porter? I fucking love Matt Porter. I feel like he was, like, super smart. I used to love his videos. I don't be, I'll be honest with you. I didn't really know much about him. Really? You know, I really didn't. I know uh, Boston Lloyd used to give a lot of shit, you know, throw a lot of crap on him. But I personally yeah. did not really read or do his. I don't know if his stuff was good, bad, or indifferent. But I know he had the supplement line and all of that stuff. Yeah. He had a lot of good stuff going on. So he had to be, you know, he was successful. Yeah. You know, what he was doing in the industry. So, yeah. I liked, I like Matt Porter. I know him in Boston had beef. But like, so Brad's really, you know, Brad, he's really into bodybuilding and everything. And he's like super smart about it. I don't know. We both always like really liked Matt Porter. And we both like Boston. So it was like this, we, every time they would fight, yeah. we'd be like, Oh fuck! Like, but Boston likes to stir the pot. That's his thing, and that's, he's right. good at. It. He's great. Yeah. That's, why, that's why he's interesting. You know, he, he he does know a lot of shit, but he likes to fuck with people, and he likes to go head to head with them, and that's his that's his game. You know, and that's, yeah. Matt was one of his targets for a little while. Right. Yeah, but he when Matt passed away, Boston took the high road. He didn't. You no, know, he was he was not being you know a jerk about it. No, anything. he wasn't a dick about it at all. Boston was kind of like, listen, man, like, I'm not going to say anything because, like, yeah. I'm just going to leave it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, which is, that's, you know, that's the smart thing to do. You can have a battle with somebody, but somebody passing away, is, it, it takes it to Yeah, me. for they're, sure. They're not legit, you know, mortal enemies. They were fucking having an online fight. That's, right. You know, it's who cares. These so, comments kill me. I, Joe, <laughs> like, I fucking love the Muscle Sport Mag family. These are yes, some we all funny ass people, friends, right? <laughs> and you've hung out with us in person and drank with us, so you see that it's even better when They're you get so fucked up great. and you're hanging out together. <laughs> I know that um, Ariana, Rarod, Joshua, Mike. There's like a lot of people on your lives that started following me. that are on mine, and they're like they're the funniest fucking people. They're I cool swear, on your lives too. So entertaining. Yeah. Good. I gotta watch one of your lives. I gotta catch it one of these days. I gotta, you're always showing me support. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta reciprocate, as they say. Trust me, I'm really. My lives are really not that great. I mean, if it weren't for like Ra Ra and them giving me shit to talk about, it would just be me sitting there fucking boring. Me so. too. <laughs> I go along with the fucking flow. Whatever comes up, that's it. We just go with it. There's no script here. <laughs> it's more fun. So what else is new, Joe? What do you want to talk about? Give me something good. Uh, I don't know. I, I hope uh, I hope uh, you're going to be at the Olympia this year. We get to hang out, and uh, I can hang out with you and Brad and have a drink. Anything before then that you guys are going to be going to that you know of? No, honestly, we're not going to do we're not going to do anything. Um, I know we're for sure going to be at the Olympia, but just like with his work schedule and my schedule, like this is when everything starts to get super busy for me, and like at least until September. September, things will calm down a little bit, but we uh -huh. both can't get off work. I'm, sucks that we can't, but. Well, that's, you know, it's a commitment. What are you going to do? It's, that's, yeah. you know, it, it's legit. You're not fucking, uh, you know, you're in the military. You can't get any more fucking serious than that as far as a job, you know? Yeah, I mean, so we're looking forward to Olympia, though. It's going to be fun. We, like, that's our one time where we both tell, like, each of our leadership, like, hey, like, this is what we're just going to take off for for, like, a few days. So we're, like, out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's cool, though. I'm glad that you guys uh, you guys make that. And it's – obviously, it's uh, – it, it, we're, we're going to have a fucking – a good time there. We always fucking do. It, was, it wasn't the same without you this past year. I was very upset. I wanted to see you while you were drinking. <laughs> The alligator bar was so much fun. I fucking wish Jay would come this year. I hope that Jay comes because drinking with Jay, he's doing great though. I don't want to like, but drinking. We can with hang Jay with him. We just don't have to drink fun. with us. We can drink for him. You know? <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I think Jay's coming here, and uh, I think Jay's coming to Vegas in April. I think he's still doing his competition, so we'll see. I hope he comes. Oh, the powerlifting thing. Yeah. 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 Good. Well, me and you will work on Jay between now and September and get his ass to Olympia. I know. I'm gonna. I did message him not too long ago, and he said, "Yeah." So I'll message him again and see if he's still gonna come. Yeah, and we won't make him go to the Hoover Dam this time. He can't hang out with us. <laughs> he won't. No, we're not trying to fucking kill 
the bedroom bully. <laughs> Poor Jay. Holy shit. Yeah, he was not happy about that fucking Uber. No. <laughs> but I'll let you go, Joe. It was good talking to you. All right, Keen. Enjoy your weekend with your dad and uh, with your babies. And tell Brad I said hello. I will, Joe. Bye-bye, Bye. Keen. Take care. Honey. There she is, Keen Auerbach, Air Force extraordinaire. Yes, I would love to be in a cockpit with her. I'm t I had to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> she knows I'm just, a I'm just a joker. I'm a practical joker like Big Rob Fitness. Pradik Patel, 82312. Hello to you, my friend. Welcome to AMA, brought to you by TitanMedicalSanta.com. Big J checking in from the bottom of the Hoover <laughs> Happy Friday, J. Oh, that's, that's Kean again. Hey, Kean. Jay Mays. Ooh, Jay Mays. And you know Kean from way back. You guys have been, you're veterans of this fucking program, of this family. Joe, does Johnny Bravo know why Big Rob Fitness called the lollipop? <laughs> is called. Um, I don't know, but I'm sure. Hey, Fruity, what's going on, pal? I'm sure he saw that video. I'm, I'm sure he saw that. I, I, how could he have not? I, everybody saw that video. <laughs> President Trump saw that fucking video. Believe me, believe me, Big Rob Fitness, we're taking him down to, he's an evil, evil person, this Big Rob Fitness. Love the MSM fam. We love you, Sandy. Surly S. Magro. Hey, that's Big Ange in that picture. <laughs> Hooga da cougar da cougar da claws. <clears throat> Nat, you're laughing with a blue heart. Hooga da, you still here? Did you see Johnny Bravo's sickening segment? <laughs> Imagine Big Rob Fitness. Johnny Bravo's gym, may I help you? This is Johnny speaking, may I help you? No, not Johnny Bravo. This is Johnny Smith. Oh, yes. Yes, I want to make a complaint. He didn't stop filming with my family there. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you think Boston looks like he could be Genova's older brother? No, not one bit. You guys say I look like Genova's father. I laughed. I thought that was funny. But I honestly, I don't see that. I don't. I heard it. I was busy the whole time. I had Joe on Bluetooth speaker. Oh, my God. That thing's going to be ruined now, bro. <laughs> Why do they call it Bluetooth? Like, did the guy that invented, like, was he fucking, like, uh, eating a blue waffle? And everybody, go, 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 blue waffle when you do it with this. <laughs> I'm excited, man. I hope Big Rob goes bonkers. Oh, my God. It has been a fucking dry piss fucking period. We need to get back into the piss. <laughs> Let Leaf Girl Staff, do you know what a blue waffle is? Ooh, Sandy, give her a question. Shoot! You look like Paulie Walnuts. Yes, I the great uncle. Oh, I can, uh, I can old ladies cunt the chin up cup. <laughs> Joe, you know what I saw yesterday the first time when you asked Jason about Diana when he said it? Yes, that video is like very famous. Like some guy did a documentary and put it in there. I, I, I really <laughs> And the poor kid took so much shit for saying that. I mean, of course he was going to say that. He was under under pressure. Have you tried the vibrator that also has the clit sucking device? Is that like a rabbit? Is are you speaking about a rabbit, Sandy? I'm thinking about Sandy using a rabbit right now. She's Swedish and she's got vagina hair that matches the fucking beautiful head of hair of us. Three weeks in a row. Three weeks in a row, T. Well, he's in the coma. A group of sandwich. Now, because uh, uh, the vibrator, uh, the rabbit vibrator has the, the clip, but it doesn't suck it. They call him Joey Gooseneck. Joey, you don't have a gooseneck. You're acting very, you look a goose. <laughs> that sounds like the womanizer. That's the one you have, Alec, right? That you and your wife use? Ariana needs to go to Neo Vibrator. And we on the one, oh, the one I have, su it actually sucks because the rabbit has the spinning like dildo part and then it has the little clit thing like this. I have to get that one from my wife. I have the bunnies. My wife used to love the rabbit and now she doesn't like it anymore. I'm like, how could you not like this? I wish I had a con so I could use it. <laughs> I'm a lollipop boy. <laughs> Tickling Robbie's balloon up. See, Dub! Been a while, Joe. What's going on, pal? Hey, dude, we only got what? 
uh, in four weeks, we're going to be hanging out, getting fucked up, little fucking Woodward together. No, it just vibrates. So yeah, the, the one that's, the, that's got to suck. Oh, my God. It's on Amazon. Definitely look it up. It's like the Energizer. You hear the nose and ears massage. So what's, Sandy, what is the one called that sucks? I have the Hitachi Magic Wand. She does not like it. She says it's too intense. So we got the mini wand, and that's the only one that she lets me use on her now. I have a whole suitcase full of dildos and shit like that. For fuck's sake, I've been telling you to get the womanizer. Stop, Larry Gang! I know, but she's probably going to waste my money. I'm going to have to shove it in my ass to get some out of it. Get my fucking 30 bucks worth. The wand is the best. I, have. I know. I told her that. I said, this is fucking great. Look at this thing. You got to plug it in. It, it doesn't even take batteries. It, it causes blackouts, this fucking thing. Oh, man. I said, I wish this thing, I could fit it in my asshole. I would be sitting on it all day at work. Lease girl, you talk about the lease after you finish having some fun. I would love to fuck and go, yeah, I'm on a power play right now. Yeah, two man advantage. I'm right in your ass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put the biscuit in the basket. Oh, yeah. Oh! Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Who can lollipop boy on the phone to King Raddy? Hey, sorry, brother. I didn't mean to bother you this late. I'm not be a SpongeBob box. Do you happen to be? <laughs> That's so sad because he's a retard. So he probably has kid underwears, like underoos. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> we are animals. Oh, it is the T to the gill. I'm going to be seeing her in a month. You better not be lying this year. You better show up in fucking Ohio or I'm coming to get you. <laughs> the two men advantage. Is that an orgy? Yes, that seems like what fucking Sandy had going on in, in Belgium. Strap them down onto the bed leg spread and lay one. See, your fucking wife, Elise, is fucking into this crazy stuff. Dirty Cat Vong. It's an amazing Amazing fucking 26. It's an amazing fucking site. Uh, pay an Instagram page. Only fans and all of that. And my wife should be like, only what? What the hell is that? Was it like baseball site? It's like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Just let me lick your asshole. Two man advantage. Yes. Save the butte. <laughs> oh. Mike Palmatia, I'm trying to think of some old fucking Maple Leafs. Mike Palmatia, he was the goaltender when I was a huge hockey fan back in the 70s. I was a big hockey fan. My first jersey was a California Golden Seals jersey before even the Rangers. Big J checking in from the truck stop, my mentor, my friend. Kim to the T to the Gil to the Roy. Are you definitely going to the Arnold with your, your girlfriends there? Because we're all going to have drinks together. I almost drowned drinking my coffee. <laughs> Don't drown. You got a show to do tonight. Daryl Sittler. Oh, yes. I see. That's another good one. Lonnie McDonald. He had to get traded to the Calgary Flames. They won the Cup in 89 because the Leafs, they, they were not good at the time. The Leafs were bad in the 70s. Joe, did you see the white trash guy with the meth pipe tattoo on his neck? I know. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that guy was a fucking savage. Savage. He was a fucking a pale Nutella, as they say. Did, did you see? Uh, oh, excuse me. Daryl Sittler. What sick of Jersey and logo. Those were the days. Joe, remember the Atlanta Flames. Yes, the Atlanta Flames. That great fucking logo. Calgary's is cool, too. Can't go now. Hubby made plans. Got to go on a guy's weekend. Oh, fuck him. Tell him to bring the kids. <laughs> Your kids are old enough to stay alone, aren't they? Mine are. <laughs> oh, Kim to the T, to the Gil, to the Roy. I had plans on fucking eating your ass. God damn it. <laughs> Future lead, Dougie Killer. Doug Gilmore, yeah. Theo Fleury. Theo Fleury was great. Remember when he used to fucking... <laughs> The Rangers got him, and he just could not. The East and West in hockey, it was very different back then. It was almost like the way the NBA used to be. The West was like that quick, you know, a lot of scoring, and the East was the bruising fucking conference. Uh, Doug Dickie. I came to the T. You just blew my fucking head. My daughter has tournaments. Well, make one of the other soccer moms take a. You tell her, I got to go to Ohio and get this guy's tongue in my ass. My team has tanked this year. Major rebuilding profits. Hopefully. Who is your team, CW? 
in, in, the, uh, in the National Hockey League. I'm not happy, nor should you be. Neither am I. I'm going to come here and fuck him up. <laughs> I want to fuck your wife. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up, motherfucker. Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, yeah, they're having a down year. He was a sick player. Alcohol and drugs. <laughs> yes, he was not. I, I couldn't argue because I'm going to New Orleans in July. Oh, you fucking, you're going to show your tits for some fucking beads? I was going to give you a fucking pearl necklace. <laughs> I was jerking off to your picture the other day thinking about Ohio. Fuck, man. Uh, Savage Psycho Joe. Where is he? He was on the other day. I saw him on this feed. They're having a rough decade. Yeah, but you know what? They had a great run for many years. Right? They won a couple of cups in that fucking little, uh, little span. Very uh, A lot of fucking parody in hockey. A lot of parody. I see Kim's laughing, but I'm serious. I'm crying. Real tears of fucking pain. <laughs> I want to smell your hair. <laughs> Drinks and hug. I want to smell your feet. <laughs> After you work out, sans shower. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm late 90s, mid 2000s. It was probably some of the best teams. Yes! The fucking Russian connection, right? What was that fucking uh, Kovalov and those guys? <laughs> The Russia, Russia, Russia. It's all bullshit, Trump said. Did you see the DNC bitch that fat black broad said that the Russia fucked up the app for the fucking Iowa caucus? Monday, I'm seeing a hockey duo parody. What is that? Is that like a, 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 a comedy thing? <laughs> Sergey Fedorov. Yes, Fedorov. Yes. He was, that whole, they had a couple of Russian guys. They had like that one line, Karpatsov and Katananov. <laughs> Konstantinov. Okay. It's too many K's and V's. What the fuck? <laughs> Stalin's easier to pronounce. Just name your kid Stalin. <laughs> so it, it's like a comedy team, and they do, uh, they do, they talk about co uh, 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 hockey. Yeah, Igor Larionov, yes, and Sergei Konstantinov. I remember them well. Fedorov was sexy. Would you fuck him? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> if a girl says, my wife was talking about some guy who was, there, there was there's a commercial where he, he looks like he's got a six pack and he rips it and he's got like skinny and then he takes the wig off. I don't know, he's an actor. I think he played like some Marvel superhero guy. He <laughs> says, yes. And my wife goes, no, he, that's that actor. He really does look, you know, Pavel Bure, yes, the Rangers when they beat the Canucks in the in the in ninety four in ninety four. Nineteen ninety four, no more nineteen forty. Alexei Kovalov said. Um uh fucking uh she goes, No, he really is like jacked. Uh, uh, he she would break his hip. Oh, that would be hot. Imagine going to the hospital with broken hip. Leaf girl stuff was riding me. <laughs> fucking reverse cowgirl. <laughs> and then fucking uh I said, Oh, I know I don't know who he is. So she showed me a picture of him and he was like in you know, a long hair and he had six pack. I go, would, would you bang him? And she goes, Shit, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what my Aquaman. Yes, that's what she said. I, I said submariner. <laughs> uh, Aquaman's actually a DC. I, I correct myself. But um uh, I like when my wife says that, you know, because I, I fucking tell her, I was like, that's normal. <laughs> I want you to fucking, you know, oh, no, I, I would never. Like, my wife says something about J-Lo. I'm like, I eat her fucking shit and semolina bread. I'm like, <laughs> and she's like, really? <laughs> like, yes, really. <laughs> she goes, I didn't mean it. I just was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Pavel Bure, yes, he was a tough motherfucker, man. His shot was great, and he was a fast fucking skater, and the fucking Rangers had a, a tough time shutting his fucking ass down. Joe Scrow. I had a friend named Joe Scrow. Big Rob notices SpongeBob on King Robbie's boxers in the locker room. Let me tell you something, Robbie. SpongeBob told me if you kiss his underwear, you get extra strength in the gym. Want to try? <laughs> oh, Last one. Do you remember Yarma Yaga in the early 90s? His haircut. Yes, he had the fucking, the, like, the curly mullet. And fucking, and then what's his name? Who was the guy that took over from? They just retired a couple of years ago. Who's the other fucking guy? 77. He was 66 fucking Lemieux. You know him, Yarme Yaga. No, wait, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of Yaga. Fuck, I'm a man. You know what I'm talking about. I was thinking of fucking Mario Lemieux. But yes, yes, Yaga. 
<laughs> Yaga was on the Rangers for a little while. I think he was on the Islanders for a fucking cup of coffee, too. <laughs> yes, hockey players with mullets were fucking great. <laughs> I had a mullet when the Rangers won. Did I have a mullet in 94? More like 91, 92. I had a rat tail in 94. <laughs> Yellow cold fanny pack to match the penguins' colors. I had a, after I had to cut my mullet because I, I went from uh, undercover to investigator, I kept the rat tail and I used to have to put it in a bobby pin and hide it when I had to go in uniform. Kovalov. Yes, Kovalov was he started with the Rangers. He wants to he wants to date his mama. Joe, after the show, go out and buy a mullet wig. We entitled. I know I need to get a wig. This is going fast. Leaf Girl Steph, can you piss on my head? Because I heard fucking Canadian girl piss helps hair fucking grow. It's better than fucking Rogaine. <laughs> <laughs> Picture me with a fucking Puerto Rican rat tail. That's what the Puerto Rican kids used to have when I was in high school. And I made fun of them, and look what I ended up doing. What a dick I am. <laughs> Dying. Oh, you and Kim going to get like, uh, are you guys going to masturbate tonight on that show? Because it'll go fucking viral. It might get pulled quick. I might have to, I might have to tell Keith, Keith, can you record this live? Because I don't even know if it's going to make it to the end of the show. <laughs> Before fucking Big Rob Fitness calls and complains. This is not respectable. <laughs> These girls are jerking off and Joe puts things in his ass. <laughs> what kind of a man are you? I have no idea. Well, I just gave it to you. What is Leaf's girl?